guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 21 to 23 of My Otome. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 21 in 3, 2, 1, go. I really don't like you, kid. Let me guess, she's the white princess. In a way, probably both. I'm guessing the player or protector has to be something that means in the previous series of the Maya Domain universe. And I'm guessing that's what he needs, isn't it? I really don't like this kid. I kind of want him to die. So here's hoping, fingers crossed, that by the end of this series, going into the second season, he does die. Also, I cannot believe probably, like, what, next week we'll be done with season one, and then after that I'll be on, like, because I, I think from what my, the person who's asked me to, who, really the Patreon who requested this, um, I think season two is a little bit shorter than season one. I think it's, like, four to six episodes, I believe. So, I'm, I'm hoping that, like, with these last six episodes... Um, number one, like I said, we're able to wrap up the story pretty good in a nice, neat bow. But anything that I'm not able to get answered with the last six episodes of the show, that the second season or the OVAs of season two will answer a lot of questions that I don't get answered. Because something tells me I'm probably going to have to watch the prequel series to this to understand this series a little bit more. But because of the fact is the person who requested this decided me to... Decided... I cannot speak. It's 2.40 in the morning. I'm sorry. Decided for me to watch this first. I'm guessing there is a reason why they kind of want me to watch this first to understand a little bit more. And then maybe if they want to request the first series for this... Just to kind of get to understand the background and everything a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure because who knows. Mm. I know. Like who would have thought? But still, once What's Her Face passed away last week, I mean... Really, it's been two weeks since I've watched the show because I had to take a break because I was not feeling good last week. What's up? Oh, excuse me, I am sorry. I just need to stay up for at least one more hour. Maybe two. Or three. Mm. 
Which, yes, Arika, you are right. Wait, no! I know. Which is true. Oh, God. This is the one and only chance that you have some, like, a time, a sliver of hope to change. Mm. But damn, hun. I know, right? If this child dies, I'm gonna be pissed. You already killed Allie, and that pissed me off. I don't need anybody else dying in this show. You just need that sort of orb looking or oval shaped looking box, right?
see, something also tells me with the last few episodes that we do have left, Sergey is going to die. I mean, in order for Nina to somewhat come back to her senses, he's going to have to make an ultimate sacrifice. So it really wouldn't surprise me. But it, if it does happen, I understand that it, it makes the most sense. That it might sell something, I don't know. Seriously, even right now, oh my god, girl. <laughs> I I can't. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Are we that serious? Oh my god. What the absolute f- <laughs> Oh my god! in the way they had to hitchhike.
They'll all die. Yes, you're right about that. Y'all really about to kill this little girl. I just hate the fact that it took the deaths of Aoi and Mimi for her to do this. I think if she would have did this from the get-go and not to be selfish, neither of one of these two characters who have died would have died, you know. It's sad though. It really truly is. I really thought she was gonna be okay. But something just told me that Mimi was not gonna make it. Especially with the fact is Aoi just died. It kinda made sense for like plot purposes and revenge purposes also to kill Mimi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still, 
I can, what the f wait what about Sergey? I mean cuz yeah how are we going to solve that little problem predicament there honey bunny I mean e even though he was screwing with you the whole entire time not like that but you know messing with your brain and everything gaslighting you kind of in a way almost like grooming her even though he really didn't pursue a relationship with her still I think it just would make her very untrustworthy towards a lot of male um, adults, you know. so fucking scared it's only three o'clock in the morning and i got two more episodes to watch from done but yes i am truly scared to see how this is gonna go um of course this will be sergey and arika meeting seeing each other for the first time since you know nina found out the situation and everything and, uh, and all that other stuff ersty dying and everything and the whole kingdom going to shit and I feel like either one of two things might, you know, happen specifically with Arika. Arika might have a nervous breakdown towards seeing him again, or she might see nothing but anger and rage when she looks at him. And so she might want to kill him. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, because still, this is a teenage girl and the mind of a teenage girl. Oh, my God. That is, that is something that, you know, as someone who, even though I'm 27, <laughs> the mind that I had when I was a teenage girl and when someone really pissed me the fuck off or kind of betrayed my trust, it, it took me a little while for me to get them to trust them again because of the fact is, like I said, once you, if you're, if you're someone who I really personally trust and I give you something and you run away with it and... Or you take something of mine that is like truly important to me and you come back with a very half ass excuse about, oh, well, I didn't mean for this to happen or whatever. How can I trust you with any of my stuff again? And this is kind of mainly the reason why I don't have anybody I know like borrow my shit because I, I just, even till today, I don't really trust anybody with my stuff, especially when it comes to like anything. I remember, like, as a kid, I let people borrow, like, my mangas and everything, especially, like, my really, really old copies of, um, Carcraft of Sakura, Mass of the Cloud, and somebody, like, ripped the, I think the last two, or the, yeah, the very last page of the final volume, and it pisses me off. It pissed me off so much as a kid. Now, you know, I'm kind of over it because I'm older and wiser and everything, and I could just always buy, like, the newer um, updated versions of it, but I think at that time, because someone, I, I'm so, uh, my, my anime and my manga is like my baby, and I'm like, <laughs> you better give it to me the exact same way I give it to you back, I give it to you for when you want to borrow this, it's the same thing of like, oh my god, this was so stupid, um, this also happened in high school, so I had a friend who was um, hosting a French student because we were both in French class, so we were in two different types. And so uh, the girl, the French girl, she had never seen the Twilight films. And um, she came, I think she found me during lunch or she came over my house after school and she asked me if she could borrow all four of my Twilight films or four or five, I think it, it's five. Um, and... I had never had anyone ask to borrow these. And this was when, you know, all of us, 
girls, maybe even some guys, were still in that Twilight phase and ish and everything. And, you know, how, like, something, just like with anime and manga, how it's so important to you and such. I, I, I should have said no, but I told my body and my mind, I was like, it's okay. Like, she, she's not really a friend. She's more of a family friend. I still kind of an acquaintance to me because of the fact is I wasn't really the best of friends with her and her sister. So I said, what the hell? Go ahead and borrow them. So I said, just give them back to me by the time the French student leaves. And the French student leaves and it goes months, like a good couple of months. Um, and I kept waiting for them to come back. And so I had all five copies with the hard, like, cover plastic over it. You know how, like, with some some mangas and some DVDs, especially when it's, like, a first edition, they will have, like, a hard cover that you can slip off and then you have, like, the Blu-ray, DVD, whatever, or, like, the book and everything. Like, almost like a book cover in a way. It's still a DVD cover. So I didn't, I gave them all five, all five movies with the covers on each and every single one of them. And, um, long story short, when I finally got the movies back from them after my mom had to tell them to give it back to me, they didn't return them in the same way. And so, ever since that day, I do not let people borrow my shit. Because of the fact is, I am so, I don't like it when I'm like, okay, hey, I'm gonna, if I give you this, it needs to be the exact same way when I get it back. And so, when you don't give it back to me the same way you were kind of saying fuck you and fuck your trust and such and so that's what it kind of seems like in a way I mean who knows what the hell Arika is gonna do in these next two episodes but whatever it is it's gonna be really crazy but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 22 okay episode 22 and three two one go Okay, question. The War of the Twelve Kings, was that talked about in the previous series, the prequel series of the show? Oh my. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is again. <laughs> I don't know why, but the way it looks, <sighs> you know when you're playing a Pokemon game? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's three in the morning and I'm laughing at this shit. You know how when you are, you, you're the character, main character, you're the trainer. <laughs> and you walk along into like some grass. <laughs> and you experience your first Pokemon. And 50 out of 50, especially, you know, if you were my age at the time. <laughs> the first Pokemon you ran into was a Rattata. <laughs> a problem. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
Well, I'm glad everybody is okay, but I hate the fact because, you know, because of this, it's only able was to happen because, you know, Mimi. So still, once again, rest in peace, Mimi. Hmm? No! Oh, that's bullshit. Come on now. You see that face? That is a face of hatred. Like, Arika is so pissed about this man. Time out. Time out. Flag on the play. What the fuck? Oh my god. And of course, he's gonna use our. As a, oh my god, this little shit. I hate him. She could have just said fuck you and just not come, you know. You're just using her. Yeah, because you were gaslighting her. You really, truly were. Yeah, but at the same time, sorry. You're not supposed. Do you know? Come on. You even just said it yourself. She is the same age as Nina. Come on now. I got that, but... <laughs> yeah, because you know, on the inside, your daughter is pissed, like, oh. Right, me too. Yeah. 
There is no probably, honey. You absolutely fell in love with him. You really think doing this is going to bring the Nina back that you love and care for? Hmm. Fuck you. Shit. I know, right? But it was painfully obvious with her since the fucking beginning. See, but see, when you say that, <laughs> really, I would be doing that. You kind of, something tells me that you're lying through your fucking teeth and you might want him to die by the end of this fucking episode, you little son of a fucking bitch. This is not a good idea. Because Nina, if you do this, there is no turning back. You already have <laughs> The road that you're going on is still not good. Honestly, this is not fair that this is a four-on-one fight. How the fuck is this an even battle? It's four against one. behind you because you're the only one who can do this
True, but... What's wrong? Mm. Well, you know, should we go ahead and turn around and go back? Oh, Oh, of course. Because you a jealous bitch. See, now it's really four against one. I mean, three against one, like, fucked up, but four, that's really fucked up. Like, exactly, because she really doesn't give a shit about Monica. If she truly did, she wouldn't want to kill her, but because she felt so jealous of her. Ma'am? I 
I fucking told you. I fucking told you. What the fuck did I say? Come on, man. Are you serious? Come on. Y'all could you couldn't wait until the last three episodes to kill him? Cause that's Nina. Nina. Of course, because she had to see her fucking dad die in order for her to do this or to get stabbed. Bro, what the fuck is this show now? Like, oh. But, but, yeah. No. But see, the question is, is that going to really hold Nina? Because, I mean, uh. hmm? All right, huh? Holy shit! Mm-mm. You're the white pr What the fuck is going on? Hold up. No, 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 no. We still got one more episode. Is this a Tome that I'm looking at us right now? Is it a Tome of the past? I need questions. Not even questions. I need answers. Like, right the fuck now before we watch episode 23. AKA kind of the last video that I need to watch. But I might be watching Pretty Cure after this. I don't know. What the fuck? Uh, of course, like. And the only way for Nina to, you know, truly go into herself and to more into her deep, rage, depressing ish on, on that emo phase, of course, she's got to see her most valuable loved person, aka her father, hurt once again and immediately blaming Arika again. And the fact is that Arika was sitting here like, no, Nina, you're misunderstanding the situation once again. Like, oh my God, Nina! Nina Bobina, oh my god. Nina, Nina Bobina, Fodana, Fano, Fofina, honey, like, I swear to god, I just, I, I need you. It's just, like, ah, uh, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I cannot. Muddy. Muddy, 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 muddy. Muddy. Like, 
No, ya me te. No, I I don't know. No, don't want this. Whatever the fuck is about to happen, I I am scared. I'm just scared. But that's all. That's all I have to say. So you know what? Go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second. Cause really, there is nothing else I can say about this because this episode, like, truly, once again. This series has gotten darker and darker, and we're getting ready to be. We're we are this close, this close to being done with this series and getting into season two, bruh. Seriously, what the dark is <laughs> like? If you would have told me at the beginning of this show that this would have turned into a very dark series very quickly, I probably would have looked at you like you were nuts. But yeah, once again, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode twenty-three. Okay, episode twenty-three and three, two, one, go. Arika, the mystery one, mysterious something, ally, I believe. Yeah, I mean, because I want to say, what, uh, Machido is with them. I mean, no, 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 the cat is with them. So whose cat was that? Plus the fact is the cat knew when to, to go, so... Yeah, see, there's a cat right there. So what the fuck is going on? Why are there two cats when there's always been one? Oh, you're the girl from the opening! Yeah! Yeah, like, can we just explain everything real quick? <laughs> I mean, seriously, can we start, like, the continuing this episode right where the episode ended in 22, uh, right when Akira, Akira, Arika woke the heck up and she saw what she saw? Because clearly it is those two right there. It's very obvious. But... <laughs> Explain, please. Thank you. Especially with the situation on two cats. Like, explain. Uh, they twins? The cat been watching over them, too? Okay. We'll see. Apparently so.
Yeah, exactly. Please explain. Uh-huh. You would ask that. <laughs> right? <laughs> So basically almost like a purgatory in a way, except no one dies. Which is now you know. Destroy the world, of course. The woman from the beginning of this, Lena? The brown haired girl, yes?
I got to take these off again. Hurting the crap out of my ear. Yeah, of course, that wasn't going to be so obvious, right? <laughs> well <laughs> Huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that little one right there. All the Yuri moments. I can't. <laughs> because when it's Yuri, I'm like, oh my god. And then it's Yao, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't. It's freezing in here. It's almost four. Excuse me, sorry. <sighs> I know. Yeah, because all I wanted to be was friends with you, honey. I mean, because in a way, Arika was like your first official friend. I mean, you still know what? <laughs> no matter what, Sergey, it is still your fault. It is all coming back to you, no matter what. what. Yeah, but it could be for the worse and not for the better. Oh, there's Tornado Nina. See, in my opinion, I feel like they're they're in the middle, even still now. They're not only good, but they're not only bad. It, there's good Otomes and there are bad Otomes. But there are times where sometimes you can't say no to being bad. And sometimes you can't say no to being good. She's just destroying everything. Which is exactly what he wants.
now. But if we're so we're gonna use the last three episodes to test her courage and ish and in the final episode Ayaka gonna be like Yum. Alright, we are getting into the final three episodes of this next week. And honestly, once again, anything, truly anything could happen. But of course, we're, we're going to see Arika, of course, train for probably one or two more episodes. Typically comparing it to kind of like a Bleach episode where um, Ichiko was almost training like every single episode and then until the finale, you know, he pops up and is like, hey! coming to save everybody and such but something tells me we might just see Arika like train in the next episode so the first episode aka 24 and then 25 and 26 will be the final battle between both Mina and Arika to the point where there is only one victor so if I had to kind of guess maybe Mina might die in the finale or something or possibly come to her senses in a way I really, truly hope that the end of this first season, I'm sorry, I'm cold, it's freezing in here, um, it ends on a good note. I mean, especially with whatever the heck is going to happen going into season two, with the fact is that season two doesn't have, like, a whole bunch of episodes. It's like, as I said again, four episodes, so I can probably get it done in, like, a week. But, I mean, all three of these episodes were truly good. I'm just really <laughs> freaked out about what the heck could happen in these last three episodes, because... I mean, Tornado Nina is coming with a vengeance. She is over here destroying everything. This, oh. This is the beginning of the end, no matter what. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Child, you are a child. You are a child. A child. What the fuck are you doing, honey? J you know what? Just no comment. No comment. No comment on that last little bit, okay? No fucking comment on that. Um, 
But yes, once again, this is the beginning of the end. Anything can happen in these last few episodes of season one and getting into season two. And the thing is, it excites me, but then at the same time, it scares me. Because typically when we get to the final few episodes of any type of show, it's always like, is it going to end like this? Is it going to end like that? Or and then you next thing you know, here's like, oh, here's like a... Um... A cliffhanger as an opening, and I mean, <laughs> opening as an ending, and I hate cliffhanger, a cliffhanger ending, so please don't do that. But I mean, relatively, all three of these episodes are really good. I am so freaking happy Owie is alive, but I, I just don't want Machido's asshole ish fiance <laughs> to, um, do anything to her. So here's hoping nothing happens to her. Once again, rest in peace, Mimi. Um, I just need this to end on a good note. That's all I truly want with these last three episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 21 to 23 of Maya Tome. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for the final three episodes of season one. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!